Barbershop Shave Soap from Sterling Soap Company. We're going to shave with it coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and white shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back in another video. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're staying safe. We're going to have a shave, and this time around, I'm going to use Sterling Soap Company's Barber Shop Shave Soap. Again, I've got the best viewers on YouTube. Many have been recommending Sterling Shave Soaps, and I finally picked up a couple. As you recall, I did a previous review on Sharp Dressed Man by Sterling Boy. This has got an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent, and it makes just heaps and heaps of lather. It's got fantastic slickness. Really, really loved it. Well, I've been using the uh, Barbershop Shave Soap, and it's been terrific. It really has. It's got an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. It's very full. It uh, just fills the room uh, while it's blooming. I got some hot water sitting on the puck right now, and it's just been great. I've lathered with both uh, a bore brush, my uh, Omega 10066, that's worked really well, and also synthetic brushes. Today I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Fire Mirror synthetic brush. Love that brush. Does a great job building a lather with shave soaps. Has nice softness, good backbone. Also like the uh, the weight of the handle. That's the one thing the uh, Omega brush, the 10066, doesn't quite have. The handle is fine, it just doesn't have uh, the weight that some other brushes have. But it's still a really nice soft brush and does a great job in building a lather. So we're going to use all of that, my razor of choice, because it's a classic barbershop scent, I'm going to use my Gillette Fat Boy. There it is right there. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Let's open that up. Yeah, and I got a little lazy door there. But that's okay. That helps me distinguish it in the morning from the uh, Gillette Slim that uh, doesn't have a lazy door. So, you know, here's the Gillette Slim. And, you know, at first glance, uh, they kind of look, especially early in the morning, they'll, they look pretty much the same side by side. But when I open it up, if I know that, if I know I've got that lazy door there, then I know I've got the fat boy. So that's okay. That's kind of that's kind of a neat little thing there, even though, I don't know, most wet shavers would want to have it fine-tuned so those barn doors open up together like that. I just kind of like that. To me, it makes it kind of unique. Um, we're also going to use a Gillette Silver Blue Razor Blade. Hey, classic shave. Got to get a classic Razor Company's blade. So we're going to go with the Gillette Silver Blue. Also going to finish it off with a Shash Allen Block. And uh, I did get the uh, Barbershop Aftershave. Uh, same great scent as in, the, as in the shave soap. And to finish it off for upstairs, I've got some Bulldog Original Moisturizer. This is not really an aftershave balm as much as it is um, a skin moisturizer, but that's for upstairs, so that'll work just as well. So, well, I've got the uh, soap here with hot water on top of it. It's been sitting here. Uh, a little bit while, a little while before I started the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this, this water that's up there on top of there and pour it in like that into the sink. Get a little bit of that bloom water, a little bit of that slickness to rinse the face with a little bit and we're going to get to the shave. Okay, here is my Vikings Blade Fire Mirror brush. I'm going to give it a, just a a little bit of a ring and just a little bit of a shake and we're going to go ahead and build a lather and this these sterling soaps just lather so quickly and they give you absolutely beautiful lather just beautiful beautiful lather now i might be going a little bit more than i need but you know what i'm on camera <laughs> i want to get a good lather for you folks so you can see it's already starting to cream up here a little bit on the insides of the of the tub here and so we're just about ready to go that's fantastic absolutely fantastic now it this is a real classic barbershop scent it really i i get notes of warm vanilla and a little bit maybe a hint of spice 
Other wet shavers say that there's a little bit of a zest to it. I don't get that. I get a real warm, full, inviting kind of a scent. Uh, it is a fuller, warmer scent than Tabak. If you've used Tabak, that has a nice classic barbershop scent. This one is better. And this one will definitely grow on you. And look, boom, lather. I can't believe how fast this shave soap lathers. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, man. I love doing a face lather with good shaving soap like this. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Okay, so here's my fat boy, it's already open. Let's get my razor blade here, my Gillette Silver Blue. Okay. There it is right there. Okay. There it is right there. I'll just lay that in there like that. Close the doors. Not all the way. I'm going to just set this to six. Put that at about six. Can you see that? There's seven, there's five, six is right there in the middle. Now we're going to give it that quarter turn to lock it in place. We're ready to go. Here we go. I'm going to heat this up and give it a swirl in the sink. That's fantastic. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Very, very smooth. I tell you, this shaving soap wonderfully smooth. It just gives you such a smooth, slick shave. That's fantastic. Boy, I tell you, that's, that's wonderful. You know, and just hang on one minute. Yeah, no tugging, no pulling on the neck at all. That's fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful first pass. Let's rinse. Okay, I'm trying to cut down <laughs> on a number of splashes to move the shave along, all I need is one splash anyhow. And just to, yeah, a nice first pass. Nice, nice first pass. I know in a previous video I was rubbing my face so much I had to throw some more water on there. I rubbed all the water off. Boy, is that nice. Look at that. Lather just comes right back. And again, this is such an agreeable scent. Um, I would say I probably, my guess is, is that I bought their top two selling scents. It's got to be at least in the top five, at least. Barbershop and Sharp Dressed Man, it's got to be in like the top five or six. That's my guess. If it's not one and two, it's got to be right up there at the top. Uh, I'd be interested to know. Uh, all right, we're going to go past number two, east to west, across the grain. You know what? Let's, let's turn this down a little bit. Take the tension off of the doors. And we're going to turn it down to, ah, let's go down to four. Right there at four. See that? That's where I want to go. Four. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go past number two, east to west, across the grain. And we're locked. And here we go.
Yeah, I like a nice mild shave. For most adjustable razors that go one to nine for me, six is probably the top limit for me. I don't like to go any higher than that, just to be a little too aggressive. Nicely maneuverable under the nostrils. And again, there's so much slickness there. Even though the cream might not be apparent, there's enough, there's still enough slickness. For me to clean away those little bits. Okay, pass number two done. Let's rinse. That's nice. That's very nice. A lot of slickness there. I am going to need a third pass though. I mean, I'm okay for the office. It's not like, hey, I'm ready for the office. Uh, pass. I need a third pass. And that's okay. I enjoy the shaving soap so much. And again, there is so much slickness. The blade just skates across your face. It's amazing. What does it say on, the, on all of their lids? It says, um, no, not there. Ah, on most of their lids. On <laughs> most of their lids. Tallow, lanolin, shea butter. At least that's what it says on the Sharp Dressed Man. I'm assuming that's uh, on the uh, barbershop shea soap as well. If you know differently, let me know. Comment below. But I'm assuming that's the... That's, those are the base ingredients of all their soaps. At least that's what I see on the majority of their labels. All right, we're all set there. Okay, let's uh, take the tension off of the, uh, the doors and let's go down to uh, uh, two. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set that at two. And we're gonna go uh, south to north against the grain. Nice. Light cleanup pass. Yeah, very nice. That's nice. That's terrific. When the razor is this mild, when the setting of an adjustable razor is this mild, I can really go against the grain in the corners of my mouth. Usually, on other razors, they have a little higher aggression. I'm usually going across. But on something like this, I can go against the grain on the corners of the mouth and the upper lip with no problem. But something that's a little higher in aggression, now nah, I'll, even, even though I'm doing that third pass against the grain, when I get to the upper lip and the corners of the mouth, I tend to go east to west again. But with something this mild, yeah, I can do it. I'm just doing this. Just to make sure I got those little bits. And I did. All right, third pass done, let's rinse. Yeah, that's a nice shave. That's a really nice shave. Yeah. So, let's take a look here before I do my final rinses. Look at that. Look how much I have left. And again, as I showed you before in the previous video, look at those nice peaks. 
that you get from the shaving soap. And really, how many swirls did I take? Not a lot. I mean, I took a, I took a, a good amount of, I would say a fair number of swirls. Um, let me do my warm water and cold water rinse. rinse. We'll continue this uh, discussion. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to flip it over to cold water. Here we go. Okay, I did two warm, three cold for good measure. That third one for good measure. Oh, terrific. Really, really nice. <laughs> Just a nice shave. Wow. A nice, smooth, close, comfortable shave. It just feels great. It feels great. There's a lot of slickness there. Just a great lather, great slickness, wonderful scent. Really, just like I say, it's a, I get like a warm vanilla kind of a, a aroma from it. That's, what, that's how I kind of get it. I don't think there's much of a spice there. Maybe, no, I don't get much of a spice. I get a nice warm vanilla. That's, that's more than anything, that's what I'm getting from it. But it is very, very nice. And again, boy, look at that. I mean, I had enough for a fourth pass or a touch up, whichever one I wanted. Really nice. Okay. Here we go with my Shash Allen block. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. All right. Smooth as ice. No zinging, no stinging. It's really terrific. That was smooth as ice. All right, just want to dry that off like that, just a little bit. And then we're going to put it in there like that. Okay, let me, uh, let me mop up a little bit here. I'll be back to uh, finish your shave and continue the discussion. Hang in there with me. And again, these synthetic brushes are just wonderful. All you got to do is rinse them out. Just move the soap out of the knot very gently. Uh, rinse them off, uh, you know, give them a couple of vigorous shakes, blot a little bit on the towel, buff it a little bit, and look, it's just about 95% dry. These are uh, fantastic. They really are. I love these synthetic brushes. And, you know, this, uh, this Omega bore brush here, this cleans up fairly well, too. It's uh, not as quite as good as the synthetic, but it does, it does seem to... Uh, Clean up fairly well. Needs a little more drying time, I think. But um, these, boy, I mean, they dry off in a snap. So um, I'm going to take this and just put that up there on my Admiral razor and brush stand, also from Vikings Blade. I like that a lot. I've used that so much. Uh, and again, I love that Fire Mirror brush. Just has the right size for me. Uh, great for home, great for travel. Nice weight in the hand. Uh, just a terrific synthetic fiber, synthetic hair on there. Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit of this barbershop aftershave. Yeah, that's, I can smell it right there. It's got a really nice, same scent as the soap. Really nice, warm and inviting. Okay. Use a little more. Now, with, uh, with this aftershave, I've noticed this. Now, if you've used the aftershave, tell me if I'm right or wrong on this. Uh, and the same goes with Sharp Dressed Man. Beautiful scents. The scents are identical to what you get with the shaving soap. Uh, when I slap it on my face, 
there is a hint of alcohol as it hits your face. And then the alcohol just kind of, you know, it just kind of evaporates. And then that scent comes through. Uh, I've noticed that with, uh, with uh, these, uh, these two aftershaves. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just something that I noticed. Let me know if you've, if, if you found the same, same, if you found the same sensation, the same aromatic sensation from when you apply the aftershave, because um, that's the way it kind of hits me. Smells great in a bottle, I pour some in my hand, great, slap it on my face, a little bit of alcohol there, and then it just goes away and then the scent comes through. That's kind of the way it works for me. All right, here's the Bulldog Skin Moisturizer. I'm gonna put just, you know, you don't need a lot, just about that much. That's all I need, just for upstairs. A Little bit of this goes a long way because it's not an aftershave bulb, it's more of a skin moisturizer. But we're using it for upstairs and a little bit around because I'm doing the full head shave. Great shave, wow. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this shaving soap. Now, what I was saying prior to cleaning up and that sort of thing was, uh, I, uh, in doing this, uh, in swirling uh, the brush in the shave soap, I probably gave it a fair number of swirls in there, but I probably can back off a little bit and still get a great, great lather. Now, viewer Thomas Jefferson recommended uh, that uh, I do some bowl lathering with, with the Sterling Shave Soaps. Uh, just uh, load a brush and then put it in a bowl. Don't have to swirl a lot, that's what he's telling me, and then put it in a bowl and then add water and you will get heaps and heaps of lather. And I tend to agree. I, I, I think that's what's gonna, I think that was, that will be the result. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna practice on that a little bit and hopefully do a video to show you. Uh, but uh, this has been great. And again, the scent is wonderful. Now, also wanted to point this out to you. When you first get it, it looks like the soap is really kind of piled up and it's not flat like this. There, it looks like it's like almost like um, from an ice cream machine, you know, when they just kind of lathers and it just kind of piles up and layers on. Uh, so it almost looks like a crope, like a, a porrasso, if you've seen porrasso almost looks like that and you think it's going to be soft but it's not soft it does have some nice hardness to it i mean there is some density to it now you can push your finger in here but there's a lot there so it is on the harder side it's not on the softer side so don't worry about throwing some water on there and loading a brush uh, and they give you such a generous amount almost six ounces um well this one is uh 5.8 ounces here, Sharp Dressed Man, same size container here for uh, barbershop. And yeah, it's, uh, well here, 5.8 ounces. I didn't see it right there. Uh, so yeah, almost six ounces. And it's like $13.60. It's absolutely wonderful. Love the container. Hang on to the containers because you can buy refills to throw back in there. But this is going to last me a long, long time. Uh, amazing. And I'm just really, really excited about trying the other scents out there. And uh, this one has been absolutely great. So don't delay. I delay. My viewers have been telling me on every video, you should try Sterling Soap. You should try Sterling Soap. Boy, am I glad I finally tried it. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't try it sooner because this stuff is great. It is absolutely fantastic. And again, the scent, the barbershop scent is a classic barbershop scent. It is warm. It is full. I get, I get some, um, I definitely get a vanilla vibe from it. I'm sure there are other things in there, uh, but that's kind of what I get from it. And it is just an inviting, a wonderful, classic barbershop scent. And you know what? I love the artwork. I don't know who did the artwork, but man, that was, that was the other thing that, uh, kind of drew my eye to it when I was thinking about what I was going to buy was this artwork. I just think that's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, uh, great art, great container, great shave soap, great shave. It was just all around a win-win-win. Really, really, really terrific. So Sterling Shave Soap, Barbershop Shave Soap from the Sterling Shave Soap Company. This stuff is absolutely wonderful. 
I'm going to get some more. I'm going to get some more in other sense. This stuff is great. As a matter of fact, right back there, you know, is where I keep all my soaps, right in here. And I, I think what I'm going to do is, right back there, I think I'm going to have to take some of those other soaps out and put them in storage and just put some sterling in there because I think this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, I know there are a lot of wet shavers out there that just use this because they like it. It's so... It's so good, it's an affordable price, you get a lot. Like I say, it's uh, fantastic stuff. So thank you again to all my viewers who recommended this, and my apologies for not trying it sooner. Thanks very much, that's all I wanted to say. I really do appreciate you tuning in. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Have you used Barbershop? What do you think? Describe the scent to me. See if I'm right or wrong. Um, check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ray, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.